so much. What a beautiful afternoon to be amidst the question. Let me recognize the apostles. Let me recognize the clergy in your integrity, those from within Timbala, Chilinabongwe, and the rest of the conference. I also wish to recognize my dear cabinet colleagues, the Minister of Mines who happens to be MP for Chilabongo, the Minister of Transport, who also happens to be the MP for Nola Central. He took most of our time today, having a Nola. But the provincial minister who has spoken already. Also to recognize other colleagues, members of parliament, mayor of this city, other mayors, indeed councillors. I also wish to recognize, I know time is not with us, but the temptation when you are amidst men and women of God like this to say one or so more things, to recognize our party leadership. The party that has seconded some of us in government in this, our constitutional democracy, constitutional multi-party democracy. So I wish to recognize also colleagues from other political parties that may be here. We are the enemies. We are competing to serve the people. After that. I think it's important not to ignore the media. The media plays a cardinal role. And that's why we call them the fourth estate. Yeah. Making it possible for those who are not in this church today to know that we have this beautiful gathering with men and women of God. So thank you, the media, for being with us. I must simply appreciate the initiative, Bishop Kajila, and your leadership for what you have done to pull us together. We apologize that we came late, but we have dedicated, as my provincial chairman said, two hours. Necessary will add the third hour when they come. If necessary, if necessary, I'm sure two hours will be enough. Just to continue what has been started today. First and foremost, just to worship our Lord. To worship our Lord. Without whom. Without whom, nothing is possible. If you are looking for examples of God's children who could have never been presidents of this country without God, this is this one talking. <laughs> Everything was done to make it impossible for us to occupy this public office. But God says, his ways are not our ways. 
they made it possible. So we must continue worshiping him. He must lead on everything we want to do. I know the men and women of God here. Friends, talk in what they do. What you do. Within our families, to raise our children to be of certain character, certain minimum moral standards. Without God, children will rebel against us. So I can go on. I don't wish to do that. Because that's your domain. You know how to preach better than me. And I'm only saying things the way I feel. So to continue our prayers, we will have that time. But we thank you for the initiative again, all of you, just to be able to gather in this very church, this building, where we conducted one of the prayers in four elections, and the very difficult circumstances. That time we were checking, are the police out there? <laughs> Any little noise we say, is that a gunshot or is it <laughs> How things can change. That now we can gather like this without looking over our shoulders. We should not forget those things. So we don't return to those days. But just to meet in this church again. Number three, to meet many of you in such a peaceful atmosphere. And the messages you give given today, messages you give given today, around the mind sector, around the welfare of the people, of Chingola, of the government. Around issues of health services delivery. Everything you say is appreciated. It's welcome. They are all valid. All of the issues you raised are valid. And that's the way it should be. So when we meet next, we want to continue that dialogue and probably respond to some of those issues. Including by then, then we'll have action on one or two of those issues. And I ask for the organizers to spare us copies of what you delivered today. I know London thought it was a job when I said we'll run the country in a political way. <laughs> yes, we want to look at each of the items you put there, isolated, which ministry, which department must work on it. That's what we do now. <laughs> we run things on an action list base. So please, if that's okay, allow us to go away with someone. No, sir. I request some all of the issues that have been raised, including those that you haven't covered, because you were in a rush. I could see the board language. Come, 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 come. Let's move. So that's really something I wanted to say today. But more important to say, we are here. We as to say we are here as your servants. Servants of the people of Chingola, people of Chingola, people of people of Kamlushi, people of Mafke, of Riga. And the people of Chama, the people of Kashinakash, the people of Shango, the people of Chikarawa. I know you don't know those places. One of the gifts Bishop Kajula has, I'm really blessed with that, the years I spent Seeking public office took me to every corner of them. And that information I'm going to use it, we are going to use it to run this country better. To understand the nature of the So, we are here to say, for today, I want to focus, we're here to say, not to be
listen. We are here to listen. We are here to take counsel. And how can we to work as a partnership in the service of the people? Pastors, bishops, self communities, government self communities. There is a convergence point. There is an intersection. There is common ground. That's all I want to say today. And that we will not abuse this privilege to save God's name. Give me what you give me. Give me what you give me. Because we inherited in the country right at the bottom. We want to go there. But in one year, six months, we've made some strides. And something we've accepted to be wrong with us in the UK government is poor communication. We want to learn from the church. You are good communicators. So we can communicate the little that we've done. Not for praise. Not for praise. But simply to teach methodically that this group said that to do this is done that. And that. And that. So, why? Se for se chita. Milo, Nibu, African Union, meeting in Addis Tomorrow. In that space, thank you for your prayers today. I miss the music, which I love. But I'll get a lot of it when I come next. And I must say, I'll be here for one week on the conference. <laughs> so, please continue evangelizing our people. We have our support and also in a small way our prayers. As we you pray for us, we pray for you. I think that's where it should be. So today we need you. But we'll catch up with you. We keep in touch in case it's something we need to do preparatory work before we come, and the choice of which day, which location, we'll leave it to our provincial team and yourselves. That's your choice. But definitely, provincial minister, we will dedicate that time that we allocate for this group. And maybe there will be others joining us. So this meeting will not be at the back of the queue. This meeting will be in front of the king.